Here we go! Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gamer, like, 90? Well, that escalated quickly! <laughs> what the heck? That's one of the best openings I've ever seen. You know, they probably go through people's minds whenever they hear Bait the Cat flapping his lips in Sonic Adventure. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding. He's not that annoying. I mean, he's annoying, but not that annoying to me. <laughs> I'm being a prick now. Anyway, guys, what's going on? This is GamerBlake90. Proud chief of the blue blurs. Man, that was one of the best openings to any ROM hack or fan game I've ever seen. I can already tell this video is gonna be a fun time. But yeah, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am putting up not one, but two videos showcasing entries for this year's Sonic Hacking Contest. And this is gonna be the first most videos. I figured I'd make up for not uploading yesterday, so I thought, why not give you guys two videos today? I've done that before, why not do it again? So for this video, we're checking out a ROM hack for Sonic 1 called Sonic the Hackable. An interesting choice of name, but it's also appropriate, as it is a ROM hack. And also, if you haven't figured it out in the stage of choice, this is based on Sonic 4 Episode 1, but uses the coding for Sonic 1. You can even see that with Sonic Choice of Sprite right here. He's also got the Air Dash in Sonic 4, which works very interestingly. Like, at first you are launched in bald form, as if you were doing a homing attack, which I don't think is in this game actually. All you get is an Air Dash. And after a while, you uncurl and go into a falling animation, which can leave you vulnerable. In essence, it works exactly like what I like to call the Air Dash did in Sonic 4. And don't worry, you get the Fin Dash as well. But yeah, I don't think the homing attack is a thing in this hack, because I've tried um, to target um, to enemy with it, and there you go. It doesn't seem to have a lock-on property, which is meh, but then again, it's in Sonic 1. I wonder how you would be able to code the homing attack into Sonic 1, as it wasn't originally there. But then again, this is the Sonic modding community that we're talking about. Chances are, somebody's watching this video and like, wait, you don't think the homing attack can exist in Sonic 1? Um, I might have to prove you wrong, sir. And you know what? That's what I want to happen. Anyway, I digress. This ROM hack is based on Sonic 4 Episode 1, but from what I've read about it on the Sonic Hacking Contest website, this is actually meant to be a continuation after the events of Sonic 4 Episode 2. The reason being that after Episode 2 takes place, Sonic is like, Eggman's probably headed back to the Mad Gear house, which was, you know, the second to last stage in Episode 1. So I should probably intercept him there and stop whatever else he's planning before he even comes up with it. And so he goes back on a run through the four zones that made of Sonic 4 Episode 1 in an effort to anticipate Eggman. Usually I think Sonic is more, um, reactive than, um, the type to anticipate, but hey, I'm not complaining. Whatever gives me an excuse to play anything like this, because I think a common theme among a fairly sizable portion of my showcase videos was, oddly enough, Sonic 4 Episode 1. Despite that, it's not one of the better Sonic games out there, even I'll admit that much, but there've only been a lot of possibilities that could have happened for it on the initial version, and I think these, um, these recreations right here showcase that very nicely. Also, um, I don't want to trigger that. No, 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 go the other way, go the other way! I don't want to go in there! No, please! Please! I swear, these special states have a mind of their own. I want to get rid of you. I want to get rid of you. And I'm like, no, you keep me in there so I can get that Chaos Emerald. We do things my way, not your way. Got me? <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, the special stages work very much like Sonic 1 because they work very similarly in Sonic 4 Episode 1. I'm sure you figured that out by now. But one thing that carries over from Episode 2 is this music from Sylvania Castle Act 2, which is then used for Splash Hill Act 2. And that is an awesome music choice right there. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 huh? All these bikes here? What's going on? Um, how do you get past here? Oh, well, okay, that's one way to... Whoa! I actually never knew that upper route was there. And same way with water a thing in, um, Splash Hill Zone. Anybody want to fill me in? Oh, well, I'll take it. Um, looks like an impassable wall here. 
I'm gonna have to go the other way. <laughs> Yo, this is a really fun hack. Um, like I said, I acknowledge Masonic 4 Episode 1 isn't one of the better games, but it's always fascinating to see what the modding community does with it, or the fan game community. Because I showcased a couple other videos, those being fan games, Sonic 4 the Genesis, and Sonic 4 The Reimagined Adventure. I don't believe they've been updated since, though, which is really unfortunate, but hey, people have other lives to lead, you know? Still, it's always fun to see what people do with this game. I wonder if there have been any ROM hacks or fan games based on Episode 2 now I think about it, because I don't think I've heard of any such hacks. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm going back and forth between calling this um, a ROM hack and a mod. I know that mod is typically the more used term in today's era of modding. But these were initially known as, well, that was weird. Sonic going and falling animation when he's halfway up a loop. <laughs> that is just weird. It feels a lot more like at to a green hill now from the way um, that loop sequence looked. Alright, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. If I go quiet at times, it's because this music is taking me over. It's one of the few things I enjoyed about Sonic 4 Episode 1. Despite that, um... While it's typically par for the- Oh, we're gonna skip the special stage. It's typically par for the course of a soundtrack in a Sonic game to be super good. Sonic 4 Episode 1 was kind of pushing against that established norm, to be honest. Like, it had okay soundtrack. Um, Sonic 4 Episode 2, I mean. Like, it had okay soundtrack, Sylvania Castle Act 2 being one of them, and Flash of Light 3 is not bad either. But something about it makes it sound much better when it's made in the Genesis style. Because, yeah, the soundtrack from Sonic 4 will be featured in Genesis style, given the theme of this ROM hack, as you probably might have realized already. And is it just me, or does it look better here than the original Prada? Am I going crazy? I don't think I am. It's definitely... Wow. I think out of the three ads since Flash Hill, the third one's definitely my favorite because of the sunset setting. Turning it into Sunset Hill, essentially. It looks so flippin' beautiful. Kind of makes you think back to... What happens with the day and night cycle in Isolated Island for Knuckles Chaotix. Um, the more you got through the stage, the more you got through a sunset and a nighttime setting, whereas you started with a daytime setting. And man... Despite the exit of the combo ring mechanic for the gameplay, Chaos, in my opinion, had a lot of promise. As did Sonic 4, of course, but it largely became a throwback, um, a throwback style of game, as the level layouts were very similar to those seen in the existing classic Sonic games, and you got similar vibes from the boss battle, which were largely unoriginal. Like, there were a few different directions that were taken when we lost Labyrinth and Mad Gear boss, for example, in Episode 1, but other than that, they fell back to what they already were established as in the classic games. So it feels like Sonic Team wanted to go all out with Sonic 4, but at the same time, they found themselves holding back because at the time, it seemed like people wanted them to keep playing the nostalgia card over and over, whereas now, not so much, because it happened a little too often. <laughs> but anyway... We've got the boss battle with Splash Hill, which works a bit differently from his Genesis counterpart. The first phase is similar enough, he spins the Wrecking Ball around, but when you deal enough damage, it suddenly goes- OW! It suddenly goes in a 360 degree angle! Making it super hard to avoid, like I don't know what the heck I have to do here! Luckily, it doesn't stay like that for the entire fight. Looks like it slows down after a while, and you get another opening to go in. Thank goodness. I hadn't known about that at first. I was about to, like, leave you all to demonstration of the boss battle and be like, wait a minute, what do you guys do exactly if that boss just goes in circles over and over and over and over until you're dizzy? <laughs> but luckily, it stops after um, a period of time, so you will be able to attack him when it does. And when it does start spinning, I recommend going to the side of the stage where Eggman isn't already there to give yourself some breathing room. But if he starts moving towards you, don't panic and just learn to time your spin dash when you go past the Wrecking Ball, and you should be just fine. And with that, that's a boss battle with Splash Hill, and we are done with the showcase, because unfortunately, this demo has only Splash Hill. Although, if you sit in the title screen long enough, you can see other stages, like, uh, well, you won't see it right now. So I'll go ahead and skip that one, because you will see demos for the Marble and Spring Yard Zone, so I don't think they're meant to remain named as such for the final product, as it is based on Sonic 4 Episode 1, so I expect to see 
um, the rest of the stage list from that game being ported over here as well. Those being Casino Street, Lost Labyrinth, and Mad Gears I just brought up. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Egg Station Zone gets recreated in this mod as well. And there it is, Marble Zone, which interestingly uses the Sylvania Castle music, which I guess works here, but at the same time, Marble Zone has its fundamental differences from Sylvania Castle. So, it's not a complete fit, but it works, I guess. But anyway, guys, that is it for my video showcase of Sonic the Hackable. And if you stick around later today, you will see another showcase for me for another Sonic 1 ROM hack, which is definitely going to be quite an experience. That's all I'm going to say about it for now. But make sure you sub and ring that bell if you want to keep up to date on my coverage of this week's Sonic hacking contest. <laughs> God, this opening, bro. These guys are maniacs for coming up with it, and I really appreciate them for it. <laughs> But yeah, guys, make sure you sub and ring that bell to stay up to date on my coverage of the, um, the Sonic Hacking Contest 2021, along with the rest of my Sonic content, because this is exclusively a Sonic channel. We're all about showing love for the blue blur. And while I'm at it, let me take this moment to say happy birthday to my friend Velocity, who just turned 26 years old today, so shout outs to him. Been one of the biggest supporters in the channel came around, and I really appreciate him every day. Go give him some love, people. And that, guys, I will see you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, drop those likes and comments and let me know what you think. And make sure to share your thoughts with the maker of this hack as well. I'm sure they'd love to hear all about it. With that, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, blue blur is for life. Take care. <laughs>